Welcome to another video guys. So today I'm going to be doing another set of vinyl wrap. I did order another piece. This is a 24 by 60. Those are in inches. I'm going to be doing it on the tank. So I've already gone ahead and sprayed it with some, I've sprayed it with some bug and tar. The gas tank is one of the areas that gets abused the most, especially in this area which is the crotch area. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off, get it prepped. I've got my alcohol solution, and I'm gonna go ahead and get it prepped and ready, dust-free, ready to apply the vinyl. Something important that I didn't mention is you gotta sweep your workspace. So, or even if you can, if you can like air blow it out. I've got vinyl wrap right here already. Um, and, I, and then I have this protective zipper I'm gonna wrap it and I think I might I might cut it just at the top lip and then bring it down and then wrap right here so let me go ahead and show you guys the tools that you need these are the tools you are going to be needing to use you have a squeegee I have two different kinds also blades with an extra set uh, they are breakable so you can remove them and start with a fresh new blade clay bar kit I have mother's California gold instant detailer that acts as lubricant also bug and tar remover I use turtle wax just buy a regular spray bottle it's like a buck fifty at Home Depot it's by HDX put some distilled water in it with some rubbing alcohol rubber gloves which are six mil then I have the roll of vinyl links to all of this stuff will be in the description box feel free to check that out I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, products, or anything. I purchased all of this with my own money, and I'll go ahead and calculate up the total and tell you what I actually spent. This is the biggest expense. This stuff is literally less than $15 for all of that, um, maybe $20. This was around $80, if I remember correctly. So, And also in the future, if you ever do need to the vinyl wrapper, you want to change the color, you want to add new protection, this stuff will last you a very long time. So once you are done using the bug and tar remover, what you're going to do is apply some rubbing alcohol with some distilled water, spray that on, make sure it's clean. Then I went ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start the clay barring process. Oh, this quarter brick of clay bar has lasted me through two cleanings through my bikes. Once I am done with a certain section, I'm gonna go ahead and fold and rework the clay. Once you're done, just get your rag, run over everything. Now we are all done with the clay bar. Go ahead and get your alcohol solution and simply just spray on, wipe off. Okay, next I went ahead and removed this seat. You should probably know how to do that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just clean everything in here just because I'm crazy like that. And something also to mention, there should be a 3M sticker on the back of this. So this is probably a knockoff, which is just fantastic. Um, but at the same time, this looks really thick and it looks exactly like the same as the other one I got. So, well, this one's old, but. Alright, so that is just enough. It looks like it's too much, but remember I have to stretch it down to this part all the way down in here. So once you're peeling it, make sure you wet both sides. That way it doesn't stick to each other, because if it does, you're pretty much screwed and you have to start all over. Then we're going to soak the heck out of the tank. You want to get it as wet as possible so it can slide around. You want to uh, spray your fingertips, that way it doesn't stick. So the technique I'm gonna be using is I'm gonna be pulling and stretching, pulling and stretching just to where I want it. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and squeegee down, tack down everything that I need to. And also, think of it like when you're drawing a picture, right? Uh, when they taught you back in elementary, right? You wanna lightly apply it, because if you mess up, you can easily remove it, put it on, same thing with the drawing. 
you can simply erase it if it's just a light sketch. Whereas if you just hurry up and drag it on really hard and then you need to pull it up, then you might mess up and it will be harder to fix your error. So now I'm at the point to where I can really tack this section down. I'm gonna use the edge of the plastic as like a guideline. And then I'll just move the camera because it's in the way. It's really annoying, sorry. All the parts I don't use, I'm going. I'm gonna tack them onto the the sheet that is done with. So now I'm gonna take this harder squeegee and work in the vinyl. I might have to do a leaf cut here and here where it dips, right? This tool is just perfect for this kind of work. It's got that lip, right? And it just bends just enough to where you can just pinch it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and tack down all this and then I'll trim it and then tack it down. Now I'm getting ready to trim all this, so I don't really care how it's crinkling up. I did four layers of tape, and then I, if you notice, I have a very, very small crease, uh, a, like a line in between. That's what my blade is gonna be riding on, right? That way I have a nice, straight, even cut. And boom, no scratches. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's no scratches. So if you see in some spots how they don't tack down like that, just get a towel. That way when it hits the edge, it'll absorb it all. So I had to sit the garage, so sorry if the lighting sucks. It started to snow. But I have moved on to the other side. I will show the finished product.
so I've noticed I've used the other side of this instead of this. This one's really soft, right? If you use this side, it's a lot more stiff, if that's the right word. I'm just gonna do it lightly. You don't need to completely grind through it. Just enough to where it will kind of pull off. I'm gonna redo this since I just found the bubble. Totally forgot to record what it looked like after, um, but it turned out pretty nicely. So I'll go ahead and just like run through a few things. I don't have like any bubbles or anything, which is pretty nice, surprisingly. This is my first time wrapping a tank. And um, some spots aren't completely tacked down. Um, and I think it's because it's just so freaking cold. It's currently winter and I've already tried heat with the heat gun and all that, but it's just not tacking down because it's just so dang cold. So that was that. So it's, uh, I probably will actually end up doing it again later. Maybe like vinyl wrapping the tank like red or something cool like that. Um, and then I'll take off everything. But I did put on tech spec tank pads, so we'll see how that goes. And then um, the next video is going to be vinyl wrapping this carbon fiber panel. So this one, so look at that. Look at it. So go ahead and click on the next video. And that's gonna be this, how I vinyl wrap that. And uh, yeah, it should be good. So thank you guys for watching.